Hello everyone. Um, Beard host is a, a site, beard.host, uh, where you can free host your site. You get a C panel for free. Uh, it's very useful uh, when you're uh, amateur in web design or some uh, more experienced. But if you just want to try your uh, websites in the air online, uh, then it's by it host uh, really uh, good for you. Uh, I'll show you how you can create it and a little bit basic how you get to use it. So uh, at first you're gonna click on free hosting. Sign up for free hosting. I'll uh, paste the link in the description. And then we're going here subdomain name. Uh, we're gonna name take the name of the company just uh, okay mail address here we go um, we're gonna use it for a hobby and it's probably gonna be in English I'm not sure yet uh, 54817 oh. One seven, okay. Here we go. And then we get a message from uh, iFastNet.com uh, from Biohost. An, an activation email has now been sent to my email address. Please click the activation link in the email to activate this. Okay, so I go to my email. Uh, it's probably going to be in the spam. It's often in the spam. Uh, then we go. I got this one loaded. I got my mail. I opened it, and this is the link to activate my account. And it's now saying it's initializing Apache, and it's Apache appears created creating DNS zone. So it's actually creating your accounts based on your demands, even though you didn't do anything yet. So you, it may take a while. Meanwhile, you can do something like download. Oh, now it's done. Uh, but you can download FileZilla already. But I'll guide you through the process in a second. Um, main hosting details. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, you got an email as well with the all your. Our uh, info data like this, this, this. But now, for now, we're gonna go to cPanel. Here we go, and we have to fill in a username. Our username is this one. Okay. We paste this one over here, and we fill in our password. Oh shit! <laughs> I may have typed something wrong. Shit. Lost password. <laughs> Already filled. Oh no, it's that's just all design. Here we go. Fetch has now been sent. Password reset. Okay. Now paste it. Here we go. Okay, I'm logged in now. I forgot my password already. It's bamma. But okay. Uh, so you can see here uh, preferences. Uh, you don't really need this one. Domains. Uh, so you can ask a domain name, but it's default. Like constructs by at host 7, you can always go to this one. Uh, you can uh, email server. Uh, databases, uh, PHP my admin MySQL. Uh, there are access logs, uh, files, FTP accounts, uh, security, DNS, software services. Uh, it's a full cPanel. Um, then we'll I'll explain a little bit more about PHP my admin. 
and about the where it is FTP account. For uh, setting up the FTP accounts, I'm going to use FileZilla. So we're going to go to Google and FileZilla. Okay. Uh, the free solution. Okay. Here we go. Uh, download the client, and you just click on download. Uh, help keep try files a little. Help keep files are free by trying out Edward new tab. Uh, I'm gonna skip the one, but you may want to. Uh, then okay, I'll install it on my desktop. Save. And as soon as it's gonna download, my computer is very slow at the moment. And here we go. You can execute it. It's in Dutch, so you probably won't understand, but I'm trying the best hard again. Uh, I agree. Uh, upgrade files that are using previous settings. Yes, I already installed it. You're not gonna get this question again, again, again. Ignore. Uh, ignore. Uh, and now it's gonna install start Faisal now. Okay. So FileZilla is gonna start. And you go to uh, files, site management, and you're gonna add a new site. And I'm gonna add here constructs. The host is very easy. I'm gonna oh, just a second. Here we go. Um, okay. So site management, new site, constructs. Okay. The host is uh, this one. F uh, oh my god. Um, oh, FTP host name. It's already laid over there, sorry. Uh, the, you don't have to fill in this one. Uh, but just make sure you get this one at normal and you can fill in here your username. Like I do. And your password is again the same like you registered at my account it's the one I got in the mail here we go uh, save and now I can go to constructs connect okay this certificate can you trust it you think in uh, connect yeah you can uh, okay so we don't need this one for a second and now you see um, a few files and a folder. In this folder is an index file and files for oh, files for your website to be uploaded here. So I'm gonna do that. I'll delete this one. Um, I'll let's see where I installed it. Or we'll just connect to my other. It's already connected. Okay. So you can see I have a few more maps already. You will get these when you use your cPanel HD docs, and you can see here uh, some files: PHP, Ink, Images, CSS, Constructs, Notes, SQL. Everything is in there. Uh, what's needed on the website. And you actually just had to go to the site in this one, but since I not am not using this one at the moment, I'm going to the site. I uploaded it already uh, from bugbearb.beathosttree.com. Here we go. This is my site. Uh, I created it. I uploaded it, and you can see it over here. For this one, this one is not PHP minded, but this one is. This one is a very important one. I'm gonna explain it now. Um, when you go to this one, you go to cPanel Byte Host 7. You're gonna log in again. Oh, I'm logged in already. Uh, and you go to PHP minded. 
Okay, here we go. You first need to create a database uh, before you can use. You can do this here. And you click on here. Here we go. And we're gonna use uh, name the database to uh, like test. For example, uh, just a random name. Uh, and now we go to PHP my admin. Here we go. And you can make a table, uh, import, you can do it by SQL, you can check it out when you make one. Uh, for example, um, example with two fields, start name ID A E for a second and name for twenty five for example um, and now you can check it out here is what values your table has and over here will come what uh, information is in your table um, so you can check all the names and IDs uh, that are filled in on your website when you link this one but how do you need to link this one and it's actually pretty easy uh, when you take your PHP uh, code uh, you just have to write that hostname your hostname your MySQL password over here uh, add password and your username at username and database at database it's not very hard, so it should work out for all of you. It's uh, pretty easy. I hope I made you know a very useful site, uh, Byathost, Byat.host actually, um, because it's it is very useful and everyone should know it. I guess because it's totally free. You don't have to pay anything for it, and. Uh, yeah, enjoy it. Bye.